Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. Due to YouTube's changing quote-unquote community standards, I created a channel called Grumpy Old Fart over on Rumble, a free speech alternative to YouTube. You can see all of my stuff over there, including my political and social commentary, as well as my current events videos. The links to my YouTube and Rumble channels, as, as well as links to let you order my books, are in the description of this video. If you enjoy my content, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I welcome your comments, even if you disagree with me. Now, on with the video. Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. I'm doing an Advanced Dungeons & Dragons Magic Items video on Boots of Speed. Boots of Speed are one of the most useful and innocuous little magic items that some players shrug at and they go, Oh, that's cool, but the, what about the treasure? You know. The players that do that are exceedingly dim. Boots of Speed are awesome! Uh, to read up on them, go to page 139 of the Advanced Dungeons & Dragons Dungeon Master's Guide. Read through the description very, very thoroughly. These boots let the wearer run at 24 double mark base movement. That speed decrease, and that's basically the speed of a fast horse. Uh, that speed decreases with the more weight that is carried, but it, but it's still an amazing feat. One thing many players overlook is the number of monsters that can only be hit with magic weapons. While not designed as weapons, a monk wearing boots of speed can kick the ever-loving shit out of those creatures because they're magic items. And his feet are the weapons. You see what I'm saying? Also, there's an element of physics to consider. E equals MC squared. Energy equals mass times velocity squared. To translate this into game terms, a normal character charging does more damage on a hit. That assumes he or she is traveling at maximum speed. If they have range, if they have the, the, the distance to get to full speed when they hit, then yeah, I, that's charging. I count in my game I count that as double damage. Imagine charging at a speed of 24 double mark. I count this as three times or four times damage depending on the situation. Now, imagine a monk charging and executing a flying kick while wearing boots of speed. That would be devastating. Um, and you can figure out the math on that. I'm not going to go into that. But monks run fast anyway. They have a base movement that's ridiculous. Imagine a monk with boots of speed. Yeah. Um, there is a downside to too much speed. Keep, this is something I gotta I gotta mention. Years ago, we had a monk in the group with a pair of boots of speed. He was zipping all over the place, and every, everything was going well. He was doing well. As the situation unfolded, we needed the monk to deliver an important message. And 24, 24 double mark simply wasn't fast enough. We didn't have a teleport. We didn't have anything that would get us there quick. No way to deliver a message. Um... So we needed him to run it. The problem was, 24 double mark wasn't going to get it done. The fighter loaned him a ring of speed. The wizard cast haste on him. The cleric gave him a number of potions of speed, which he intended to drink one at a time, so that, you know. The thief loaned him a bracelet of speed. Um, yeah. Overall, his speed was... Uh, 384 double mark now flat out running now that's 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 the base speed if you run you can run 10 times that fast according to the book uh, that was a speed of 3840 and by the way that's 480 miles per hour the dude was hauling ass then he ran into a group of enemy soldiers as he was passing by. He was trying to get around them. As he was passing by, one of them got a hit in as he ran by. Yeah, uh, when you set a weapon to 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 catch an incoming charge, you do double damage. E equals M C squared means that the monk took, as I recall, something like. 12,000 points of damage. And the worst part is that we never knew that the message never got delivered, which later on caused a total party kill. Yeah. Um, 
he he died instantly, so he wasn't. We were, we nobody in the group knew that he didn't get through, and we ended up facing a huge army with no help. We we took out a lot of those bastards, but yeah, our game master at the time he uh, yeah he he could roll crits. Let me tell you. At any rate, Boots of Speed are awesome. If you get a chance, look them up. They're absolutely wonderful. Uh, just be careful how you use them. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all. We elect cookie-cutter politicians every single election cycle. Yes, men who maintain the status quo and do just enough to make us believe the system still works. Imagine, if you will, a president who actually tries to fix things. If you like action, political intrigue, and a righteous crusade, check out my political thriller, The Righteous President.